You are listening to The Culinary Courtesan, the edutainment podcast about lifestyle, wine, and spirits. Hosted by Yolanda Shoshana. Let's get this party started. Hey, hey, it's Yolanda Shoshana. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Culinary Courtesan, the podcast that helps you live life through your senses. I mean, would you have it any other way? (laughs) On today's show, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite wines, one of my favorite red wines, and that is Malbec. Specifically, Malbec from Argentina, which is definitely my fave. If you have not gotten this wine into your sipping rotation, it is time to get it in because you are missing it. So let's talk a little bit more about Malbec. Um, originally Malbec was born in France. The grapes came from France and they were used in Bordeaux blends. And as I say, if it's good enough for Bordeaux, it's good enough for me because if anybody knows how to make wine, it's winemakers in Bordeaux. But now Malbec is the flagship for Argentina. The grape was brought to the area in 1852 and they haven't turned back. They've been rocking it out and knocking it out ever since. The country has the largest acreage of Malbec, making it the main producer. And then it's followed up by France, Italy, Spain, South Africa, New Zealand, and the USA. So you're going to be able to find Malbec in all of these glorious places. Now, what's interesting about the wine is that it wasn't sommeliers that put it on the map. It was everyday wine drinkers. They were looking for something that was delicious to go with their food and also affordable. And that's where Malbec came in. I mean, if you know wine, you know that wine from Bordeaux and Bourgogne are a little costly and can be, especially the good stuff. So Malbec came in. They were like, we want something for every day. And you can get a great Malbec for 15 bucks. So yeah. And so then you had restaurants and wine stores that responded accordingly. So now you're seeing Malbec all over the place. You're probably seeing more and more as time has gone on. So what exactly is this Malbec wine? It's going to be intense in dark color. And my favorite and where it really gets sexy is where you talk about these aromas. It's going to give you some cherries, strawberries, blackberries, and my favorite Plums. I love a good plummy wine. Then we're going to get to the palate of it all, right? Where it's going to be warm and elegant and soft on the palate, non-aggressive tannins, aged in oak. And and the longer it's aged, it's going to give you even more. Maybe you're going to get more of that coffee taste, violets, tobacco, leather, and chocolate. Woo! Chow. I mean, sexy is as sexy does, right? When it comes to pairing, like I said, the wine is great with food. It's going to go great with red meats, grilled meats, hard cheeses, and pasta in red sauce. I had the extreme pleasure of experiencing Malbec while I was in Argentina. I got to go on a glorious press trip, one that still to this day has topped no other. (laughs) Um, And I, I was there for about a week and a half, actually. And I got to meet winemakers and I got to experience what they call the asado, which is a full day affair on Sundays where people are grilling the meat, barbecuing and having red wine. You get together with your family and friends, you relax and you just enjoy time together. And I really think we in the USA could stand a little bit more of asado and Malbec in our lives. But it is quite an experience if you ever go to Argentina or traveling to any of the wine destinations. Try to be there for a Sunday asado. It's like life changing, game changing, and it'll just open your eyes. So that being said, what is coming up is Malbec World Day. Wines of Argentina decided to declare a day to celebrate this fabulous wine. So there are going to be events all across the country to celebrate. And also some of the events will also be past April 17th. So no fear if you don't get to celebrate on the 17th. 
I will be going to the celebration in New York City. I am so excited. There's going to be about 17 mailbacks in the room. Hello, mama. Can't wait. And um, also on April 17th, I will be participating in a wine chat on Twitter. During this wine check, we will be focusing on women and elegance. And it's all women winemakers from Argentina, their wine. I can't wait for this. There is a fabulous lineup. And it's just going to be absolutely amazing. Led by sommelier uh, Christy Canterbury. She's always great in chat. She's fun. She's got tons of information. If you want to come along and join us, it'll be popping off on uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday, the 17th. And if you can't make it, it's all good because you just have to go to the hashtag, hashtag Malbec Argentino, and you can go and get the information at another time. You can also see what other things are popping off on Malbec Argentino. It's a hashtag just to keep, if you want to keep up with Malbec and the Malbec world. And of course, you can also go check out Wines of Argentina, which will give you even more scoop on uh, the wines. And last but not least, if you really want to get more information, I want to recommend the book that I received called Vino Argentino. And it's an insider's guide to wines and wine country of Argentina. And it's written by Laura Catana. She sent me this book. She graciously sent me a copy of her book. And it is kind of like the Bible of the area. It gives you history, facts, information about winemakers in the past and winemakers now. So you're going to get like the full Megillah, I like to call it, of what's going on in the wine world in Argentina. And there are some recipes. There's an empanada recipe. You know, I love my empanadas and some other things that you can make to go with this fabulous red wine. You know, I have said that people sleep on wine from Argentina, and I really believe that. It's one of my favorite wine regions. It's it's really close in my heart, like France. Like, there are times when they both regions are fighting for my palate. I really love the wine from there. And people don't talk about Argentina as much, and they really should be. More and more winemakers are going there to make wine. Sparkling wine from Argentina is fantastic. More and more sparkling wine houses are going there to make sparkling wines. Some of it, unfortunately, we cannot get in the USA. But that means you should take a trip to the area and check that out. So don't forget to check out wine from the area. And you'll be pleasantly surprised. And so will your pocketbook. You will be very pleased with the taste and the affordability. And if your local restaurants are not serving mailbacks, ask for them. You will see that they'll start popping up on that menu because they want to make you happy. Talk to the sommeliers around your area and make sure they are putting it on the menu. Not just France and Italy, but give some love to Argentina. Uh, We're getting a little more Spain love, but like, let's get Argentina in there as well. Don't forget to sign up for my lose letter, booze letter, Pompette. I send it out uh, once a week, twice a week, depending on what's going on in the in the wine spirit world. It's wine spirit information, articles from my site. And if you don't want it in your inbox, you can just go and pop on the link and get all the additions. I get it. I get too much in my inbox as well. Coming out soon is my new newsletter, uh, Bourgeois Bruja, which will be focused on money and business for those of you who are looking to start investing or collecting wine, etc. That is what it's for. It's about putting your money where your mouth and your lifestyle is. If you love specific winemakers, food, why not invest in it? You'll be supporting people that you like and admire, but also um, lifting up your own pocketbook. I mean, really invest in what you love in and don't worry about the return, but know that you'll probably be getting a return. So be on the lookout for that. I thank you so much for tuning in and supporting me. And I love hearing from you. If there is a Malbec that you think I need to know about, talk to me. If you are a a winemaker, talk to me. I'm always looking for good wines on the prowl, as I like to say, on the prowl for a good wine. I love hearing from all of you from around the world. Until next time, peace, love, and cheers.